Hi, welcome back to this session of Paint This with Jerry Arnell right here at the Arnell School of Fine Art. And this is our final session on this beautiful painting called Winter Sentinels. Now, remember in the very first program about three or three weeks ago or so, I have a feeling I could get the sense that a lot of you are thinking, how in the world is this ever going to turn into anything? Well, now look what we've got, folks, from a blank canvas to this. Now, this is looking pretty good at this point especially for a painting to do on TV when you're limited on time. Now we're at the place where we can really bring it to life. This is one of those rare times for me when I get to go a little bit further and bring the details up, bring the highlights, the shadows, and the color so it's a little more like I would really like it to be, a little more finished than normal. So watch what we're going to do. Now all we're going to do is work on light and shadow. We're going to add a few minor details, but right now let's just start with our snow and some of the highlights on these corn uh, stalks. And then we're gonna start putting some individual uh, weeds in here with some snow drifted and it looks so good. But right now, let's go to our script brush. And I wanna take, now down here, just take your, this golden color. All it is is white with yellow and a smidge of orange. Now the white is the key. This gives it that real clean, crisp look. Work it in nicely. Now, like I said, folks, this is a painting I've been working on or wanting to do for years. I've had no reference material, and I didn't want to have a bunch of stuff that I pulled off the Internet. I wanted to, I did look at some of that stuff to kind of get a feel for the coloring of these stocks. But this is what we're going to do now. On the sunlit side, you want to go ahead now and bring in some brighter tones. See, like this. This is what's going to make this look a little more glowing. See how that's popping that already? See how it brings that up nicely? So it looks like the sun's really hitting some of the edges of these stems. So you just kind of do a little scumbling and pull up some weeds like they're kind of the sun's hitting as they pokes through there. You do this with darks and with some of the lights. Kind of do it back here on this one too. So we're going to work kind of quickly, folks, not to confuse you, but so that we don't overwork anything. See, I'm kind of skimming and this is called, well, the, actually in art school, if, if I don't know if they teach this too much anymore, but this is called contour drawing, where you kind of skim around and scoot like this until you kind of, you know, you don't ever leave the canvas, you just kind of scoot that way. You don't have any jumpy spots. It's kind of all connected. Over here and work. Well, let's do this one first. A little bit more light on it. A little bit on this one, especially this one. Now you could look at this and say, boy, it looks finished. Well, it does to some degree, but if you want to take it to that next level, that's why I'm so excited about this painting. Normally, I don't get to take them to this level to where I can really come back and say, okay, now we've got the time to really play with these. And I don't mean piddle play and putter and overwork them, but I mean really put that final touch that gives them that, you know, that you might say that award-winning effect, you know, where you get that final highlight that gives it that pop, that real eye-catching color or that sunlight or whatever it might be. It's just, a, just about highlight right now. See, it just brings it up another notch. It looks real dimensional. Especially right here where we get this one to show up against this sort of this gray background right in there. We probably need a little of that. There. Just kind of like scumbling, really. Just kind of scumbling a few little highlights there. Now, don't get too far down in this area. Just mostly at the top on this one. And I think for now, we're going to leave that. Now let's go to the dark ones. 